Hello, you beautiful bee plant. Welcome back to. Yes, I want to rest. Welcome back to. Let's play Banishers Ghost of New Eden, or actually just Banishers Ghost of New Eden. Yes, it's a let's play, but anyways, we go on with this rest scene. So, past psychic did say something, right? And present psychic is actually remembering it because he ain't that stupid, and I just was in the last episode, right? Now, what I did want to do, what I do want to do today in the present time, before we actually go on, we can either go up or let that explode, which we will start with after one thing has happened. There was a foggy location just beneath this location, and I would at least take a quick look at it. At least take a quick look at it. Down here, not down to right there. Not too too certain what it is, but I wanna see. Is it just me or I felt it too? I tell you I can give it a try, but this thing needs more than your rugged self, I'm afraid. Okay. I can't touch these webbings, but I won't be able to get us through. Okay, that's then something well good to know. We are not gonna be able to do today. That's on the other hand good too. Then at least we know, right? That's that's good. On the other hand. It is, and it is still impressive that we are not able to do anything here as of yet. I don't need to reload, but that is something we are hopefully going to find out later on. The little witch is there, cuties, right? I am, but I have no... Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. There are always, always certain phases in your life. I am in your verbally saying things. I am currently, since a couple of weeks, saying cute too too often. Everything's cute, little cuties and everything. I don't know why that is coming from. And, well, not why, or where, to be precise, where that is coming from. I is Black Pond. I can see why they call this the ill mouth. I mean, yes, there are obviously a lot of cute things in the what world. What is that? And here? Apart from very, very bad things in the world too, right? Where's the lady? Oh, ah, okay. No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was... a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. She's Come quite big. Sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. Or so later. Decades ago. <laughs> Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. 
I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you will only be able to end this together. Who are you exactly? Who is Seeker? We, Banisher, are witches. Ah, that much I knew. Ceridian. Name sounds very familiar. To a Scotsman, it should. Once, a long time ago, I too was named Seeker. An old friend called me Ceridian. Little Seeker, he said. Serahin, aye. When I needed a new name, I took the one he'd given me. Or at least a form of it that fits my tongue. Ceridian fits me well, I think. We must reclaim Antea's body, but Seeker tells us the meeting house can't be reached. The fog cannot be crossed. Seeker is right. The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare makes the fog, you mean? The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare is the fog. Each grows the other as their influence strengthens. It taints everyone all through New Eden. It clouds their minds and distorts their vision. But you have already cleared the dark woods. The work has begun. It must continue. Why have we found so little native presence in New Eden? They have been here, but they have never settled. Wise men and women know that the region, the Maya marshes especially, are rotten. Is that why you settled here? Here, the hem is thin and frail, and the Maya rich in agitated spirits. It is also secluded and hard to find. Both excellent reasons to remain. Here, we may hide away and mend the hem. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. Your novice mentioned it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not. Soon I'll be one with the trees. Root and bark, but that is not why I asked you here. Dearest, dears, the path ahead is yet unclear, but know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled. But some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip.
What is this void? If there's a place beneath the incarnate and the invisible, this is the first I've heard of it. Now you have. And not before time. That's enough for now. Is it safe? What will we find there? Who knows what you'll find. It ebbs and flows, expands and contracts, twists and turns. But you won't find safety. In the void, safe has no meaning. Just know this. The moment you enter it, you must escape. In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons, do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. She somehow spe spe speaks. speaks a little bit in riddles too, right? The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. We know the beast was linked to the nightmare. But we're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they, exactly? They are... manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman, a victim of the basest of human fears. By the beach as I drowned, you sent Seeker to find me. How did you know where to look? Are you asking an old hedge witch how she knows what goes on in her own garden? The woods and rivers are full of friendly claws, and feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. I guess that's the best answer we can expect. It is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item, or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Okay. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Hey, yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. Web. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. How? Ah, okay. Yep, yeah, obviously. Now, that's cool. Oh, boy. All of that is cool, right? Yeah. Alright, but guys, that then right now is already gonna bring us to the end of today's episode. And you know it. I, as usual, except they're gonna... Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me. What did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to go. Mm -mm. 
How difficult it must be to follow this path. The greatest of the great mysteries elude us all. But have faith. For there to be peace, there must be an ending. Yep, and then... The ending key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. You guys, bring us then right now to the end of today's episode. We will obviously, hopefully, properly do that in the next episode. And I, you know it, I really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully, I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.